we want to find the area under the curve y equals 1.5 x to the power of negative 2.5, graphed here in blue, from x equals one to x equals t, and evaluate for t equals two and t equals five, then determine the total area under the curve for x greater than or equal to positive one. So we'll have three separate integrals here. For the first integral, we're gonna integrate from x equals one to x equals two. So we'll have the integral of, let's write 1.5 as three halves, x to the power of, let's write negative 2.5 as negative five halves. And we'll integrate with respect to x, again first from one to two, which will give us the area of the shaded region here. So now we'll find the antiderivative of three halves x to the power of negative five halves. So we'd have three halves times x to the power of negative five halves plus one, that would be negative three halves, divided by negative three halves. Of course, we'll simplify this. Dividing by negative three halves is equivalent to multiplying by the reciprocal of negative two thirds. So we have three halves times negative two thirds. And let's write x to the negative three halves as one over x to the positive three halves. So now we'll simplify the three simplify, the two simplify. So we end up with negative one divided by x to the power of three halves So now notice when x is two, we have negative one divided by two to the three halves minus when x is one, we have negative one divided by one to the three halves. So for the exact value, notice how one to the three halves is one. So we have minus negative one, which becomes positive one. So the exact value would be one minus one divided by two to the three halves. Let's also get our decimal approximation though. We have one minus one divided by two raised to the power of positive three halves. Enter. So the approximate value would be 0 0.6464. Which again would be the approximate area of the shaded region. Now for the next two integrals, We'll save quite a bit of time because we know the antiderivative of three halves x to the power of negative five halves is negative one divided by x to the three halves. So for the second part, we'll integrate from x equals one to x equals five. So again, we'll have the integral of three halves x to the power of negative five halves. Integrate with respect to x from one to five now. So we know the antiderivative is negative one divided by x to the power of three halves. So when x is five, we have negative one divided by five to the three halves minus when x is one, we have negative one divided by one to the three halves. So this ends up being plus one. So we have one minus one divided by five to the three halves. This would be the exact value. Let's go ahead and get the decimal approximation. We can go ahead and just press second enter, which brings up the last expression, and we can just change this two to a five. So the approximate value would be 0 which would be the approximate area of the shaded region here on the closed interval from one to five. And now for the last integral, which will be an improper integral, we want to integrate from one to positive infinity. So we'd have the integral again of three halves x to the power of negative five halves with respect to x from one to infinity. So we have an improper integral here so we'll go ahead and rewrite this as the limit as b approaches infinity of the integral from one to b of three halves x to the power of negative five halves integrated with respect to x. 
So because we had an improper integral, we replaced the upper limit of integration here with b, and then we took the limit as b approach infinity of this integral here. And if this limit exists, then we say this improper integral converges, and if it doesn't exist, we say it diverges. So now we have the limit as b approaches infinity of, we know the antiderivative is going to be negative one divided by x to the three halves, but now the limits of integration are from one to b. So when x is equal to b, we'd have negative one divided by b to the three halves, and then when x is positive one, we have minus negative one divided by one to the three halves. So notice here, as b approaches infinity, we have this fraction that has negative one in the numerator, and the denominator increases without bound, so this fraction approaches zero, and this fraction is not affected by b, so we end up having minus negative one, or just positive one. And since this limit is equal to positive one, this improper integral converges, and we can say that the integral from one to infinity of three halves, x to the power of negative five halves, and integrated with respect to x, does equal one, meaning the area under this curve for x greater than or equal to one is equal to positive one. I hope you found this helpful.